studying is hardly the thing that most students dream about. I have been a junior doctor in the UK for quite some time, and I still do not find passion to study for exams months in advance. Even though I know that's literally what's going to make the most difference in my life when the exams come knocking. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one who suffers with the challenge of studying without an exam nearby. So why does this happen? This happens because our goals with studying tend to be short-sighted. I'll come back to this as it needs a bit more context. We are a dopamine craving generation addicted to getting quick hits of pleasure, which quickly fade away. This has been a problem across generations, with each passing year adding more and more tools to get a quick high and more and more reasons for a dopamine lusting brain to be satisfied by. Yet, all the things that provide us the real value are the ones that take time. When we are putting in the time and not seeing the quick result or the quick happiness, we get demotivated. And our dopamine craving, quick reward seeking brain wants to get distracted and make us want to do other things. We get addicted to this short term high without realizing that we are setting ourselves up for long term failure. So, how does our conscious, modern mind take back the reins from our primal, subconscious, instant reward seeking mind. The problem with studying as a concept. Most of our idea about studying has been formed in primary and secondary school where we could leave the syllabus till a night before the exam and then pull an all-nighter and still manage to excel in the test next morning. Well, maybe not in maths, but this quite applied to other subjects. This idea gradually roots itself into our minds deeper and deeper so that even as we go into secondary and higher school or even into university, we still keep this last minute preparation as our final fail safe plan. Although we do start preparing a few months in advance, about one or two months in advance before the exams show up, this is nowhere as near enough a preparation that we need to really excel at the studies. And then we pull an all nighter once again. And if we keep passing these tests, we don't really think about our method of studying because it is working in some way. Although not the best, there is no reason for us to reflect on the way that we are studying. And so if you do not reflect on something, you do not get a chance to improve on it. So now a couple solutions emerge. At least this is what has worked for me. So I'm going to share with you. So first tip of all is how do we break free from this rut and make the most of the golden years of our lives where we have the least responsibilities than we'll ever have. So first of all, we must remember that Pareto's principle holds real power here. Pareto's principle, also known as the 80-20 law. Some of you must have heard of it, others may not. So I'll just elaborate. The 80-20 law says that if you put in 80% of your work in the initial years of your life, you will only have to put in 20% to make a whole 100% later on in life. Whereas if you only put in 20% of your work in the initial years of your life, you will need to put 80% of your work just to catch up and make it 100. Now where it gets challenging is, as you grow older, you add more and more responsibilities to your life. You will have a house to pay off, you will have family, kids, elderly parents to take care of, and God knows what else responsibilities. So you will have less and less time to put in the 80% that you really need to put in. Which is why during the golden years of our lives, where we have none of these responsibilities, that is the best time to put in the real work. Because you could either be spending that time filling it with parties, hangouts, trips, travel, movie night every other night, or you could actually really grind and set yourself up for success later on. As I've previously mentioned in my videos, I have done my med school in India and also the grammar school and high school and all my education basically is done in India prior to coming to UK. So going back to school days, I had friends who would party out quite a bit, who would go play sports, play cricket, football and hang out by the beach simply enjoying their life. Those friends are now making at most a thousand pounds a month if they're lucky. Whereas I am making almost double of that in just savings alone, not to mention I'm earning a lot more than that because I was not so outgoing and getting myself distracted ever so often. And I put in really quite a lot of work back in my initial years. So now further success is coming to me with lesser effort. And this is not a brag, this is just Pareto's principle in action. If you put in the work earlier, you will have to work less later on. If you don't put in the work earlier, you'll have to put in a lot of work later on. And so this principle is perfect for studying. The more work you put in your high school and uni, the lesser you will need to do later on in life 
to achieve great success and vice versa now the other principle we need to get us moving forward towards our goal of studying better and not simply passing is to attach a real sense of purpose to the act of studying think about something that you are really passionate about if you like computer games you might like to level up and fight stronger demons if you like to run you might like to be focused on building stamina or endurance or even outpacing others or even outpacing yourself and these things could be your really driving factor towards keeping you running the same continues with the act of studying as we enter high school and uni the sooner we start preparing for a subject the more thorough will we will be with it when the exams roll around the more time you have sat with the problem the quicker the answer will come to you in the words of einstein it is not that i am smarter it's just that i have stayed with the problems longer and as if that's not enough knowing that the reward of having more money having a better quality of life being able to afford a nicer house for your family to live in having access to more opportunities all of these things wait on the other side of being thorough with your material i know the reward is a few years down the line but the work for it starts now today so the exams are not here to test how well you have studied a topic the exams are here to unlock opportunities for you in the future and studies are a way to get there another little system to study more is to build a system to study more without ever feel like you're taking on too much in his book atomic habits the author james clear clearly conveys to us that systems are a way to make big progress systems are the driving force of victory sure goals are great james judiciously justifies that goals are only part of the equation and that systems is where the magic really lies He elaborates on this by asking us a question. Let's say you are a basketball coach and you ignore your goal of winning a championship and you only focus on what your team does at practice each day and try to make continuous improvements. Do you still think you would be more likely to win a championship if you didn't focus on winning the championship and just focus on doing better practice? The answer is most likely yes. Three-time Super Bowl winner Bill Walsh has said that if you focus on your system the scorecard takes care of itself so what are systems systems are a way of doing something so sticking with the example of basketball if your goal is to win a championship your system will be to have a sizable number of hours to practice in a day focus on uh, your players showing up on time you focus on having a healthy meal keeping your team energized having good and thorough team building events and so on So similarly if your goal is to study better your system will include things like studying at least an hour a day likewise if your goal is to go to the gym your system will include that you go to the gym every other day you have a clean diet you are making better food choices you are prioritizing your sleep times well and you are prioritizing the gym over other less important tasks which you won't remember down the line studying again is no different yet another thing that i have learned that is really helpful with starting to study early is that over time i end up with a list of things that i find really difficult to memorize so what i do with them is i write them on my flash card and every single day i have a look at the flash cards and simply through looking at these facts daily i'm able to spend longer time with them and end up memorizing them a lot more than let's say if i discovered them more towards the end towards being closer to the exam then i would have to rote memorize it really hard and it would take me hours to just get simple facts through my head so starting preparation early has helped me with things like noting down all the math formulas in a single place quicker noting down all the biochemistry equations pharmacology drugs the tumor markers from pathology and many other concepts that you know you just have to spend a lot more time with and there's no other way around it these things just take multiple days of revision to really solidify in your brain now if i had started preparing later on i would not be able to retain these things as i came up very close to the exams and i would have a lot more other things to cover not everything takes the same amount of time to study so things that would take a lot more time i would not be able to give them the required amount of time now with those four tips we come to the end of this video and if you can take away even just one advice from this video that i have used in my own life then i would think that's a great success you can always come back to this video later to learn more but in the meanwhile i've had this video that a lot of people seem to like 
and it's about how much money I make as a doctor in the UK. And if you are interested in checking that out, the link is right here. In the meanwhile, this is Dr. Abhinav Kumar and you are watching Throne in the Deep. <laughs> and that's it, over and out.